Hello everyone, I'm Jif Gaming, and right now I'm going to tell you guys how to fix your FPS issue in Mortal Kombat X. So I did a video last night explaining how to do it, and I left out a whole bunch of steps. I only did one step, and someone already had commented saying that it didn't work for them, and immediately I was trying to think, why? Why didn't it work out for them? I realized that I forgot at least three other steps that you could do to try to make sure that this thing works even better. So, if you didn't see my video from last night, which is probably going to be deleted by now, then a welcome to this one. Um, I really hope this helps, and so let's get right into it. So first what I want you guys to do is you're going to go down to your Navita control panel and once you're in here you'll go under 3D settings here and click manage 3D settings. Um, if you go to global settings here you can see suited GPUs and basically we want to make sure that this thing is set to where it uses your graphics card. We want to make sure that this thing actually registers and knows that um, your graphics card can be used for GPU stuff as well. Now if we go over to program settings you can choose a program right here on this list. There are a whole bunch of programs so obviously you're going to choose Mortal Kombat 10 and you're going to go down to the same thing and you can choose right underneath GPU here your graphics card and so then that way it'll know to run this program through your GPU on your graphics card now when I did my video last night that's where I ended the video but actually there's a lot more you could do so right now I'm in my Steam this is my second profile so I don't have any hours on MK10 yet but basically when you do install the game it does not install a lot of the game so th this right here is not optional DLC this is stuff that you do need to make sure that the game will actually even work so make sure that you install that uh, all these should automatically install once you get the game but um another thing is Mortal Kombat X does not it doesn't install DirectX when you install the game which is a problem so you have to install it manually so what you would do is you would just go to your uh, to your this to your folder you're going to go to your drive here and you're going to go into program files and then you'll go down to steam right here steam apps common you're going to find mk10 and then you're going to go to common redist directx and you'll be brought to here which looks a little crazy right but if you scroll down a little bit over down here you'll see the D DX setup which is DirectX and so you want to make sure you just run that just install it it's, it's pretty quick so once that's finished then you'll know that DirectX is installed so the next step you're going to install a Navita driver now I already had an updated version of a driver from this but that could have been part of the issue so I went back down to 347.88 this download link will be in the description and you're just going to click download and it'll give you your little download and you can go through the setup process and uh, once that's done uh, that'll be that that's basically it you can do one extra step once that driver's downloaded and go to your MKX in Steam you're gonna right click it and you're gonna go to properties you're gonna go over here to I believe it should be here local files and you're just gonna do verify integrity of game cache now this will take a little while because it's gonna go through all your files but it's I think it's worth it just to do the extra step to make sure this thing works so if you are someone that watched the video last night I do apologize for not going over a lot of this stuff this is everything I've done to fix the game now so let me know if this did work for you if not I'll try my best to still help you in the comments so thank you all so much for watching leave a like if you did enjoy and until next time I'll see you all later go to PC video and this is what I have mine set to right now um, it so far it's worked pretty good I used to be getting about 20 to 30 frames in cutscenes and then after I messed with some of this stuff I ended up getting about 60 FPS now I have an FPS counter in Steam I'm not sure if you can see it in the top left corner but um, right now I'm getting a stable 30 FPS in the menu and so I just this is the settings I have done obviously motion blur I hate in about every game so let's hop into a match and see how it performs so right now I'm at a good 35 FPS, and I'm even recording. Before I was going down to about 16, going down to 24. It used to range from about 26 to 16 over and over again. It was really annoying to be, especially in a fighting game, and you gotta deal with those issues like that. 